Good morning from Cashers, North Carolina. I hope you're doing well today, that you're healthy, healthy in your body, healthy in your mind, and certainly healthy in your soul. And I hope these prayers uh, help all three of those things and for the people that you love and care about that you are praying for. Let me give you a moment to send yourselves and we'll begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue reading from the letter to the Colossians, still in chapter 1. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through him, God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of the cross. And you who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, provided that you continue securely established and steadfast in the faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of that gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just as a side note, this is one of my favorite passages of Scripture in that it gives just a wonderful description of who Christ is. And it is, in, in seminary terms, I guess, high Christology, meaning we understand Jesus to have been preexistent, and in him all things hold together, all things are made through him and for him. Uh, it's just a wonderful passage. I encourage you to reflect on it again, Colossians chapter 1, 15 through 23. Our canticle today is the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our second reading is from Matthew chapter 3. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, 
just as he came up from the water. Suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us now pray together in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Three prayers today. The first for our nation, uh, constantly under strain for a lot of reasons, that many ways that uh, you are praying for our country, but let us do so together with these words. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This for those who are oppressed, whatever country. Look with pity, Heavenly Father, upon the people in this world who live with injustice and terror, disease and death as their constant companions, particularly those still struggling under the pandemic of COVID-19, particularly Ukrainians in their home country fighting or in other countries as refugees, and all uh, as we have prayed who are dealing with injustice. And then we pray, have mercy on us. Help us to eliminate that way of life for these, our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection under the law and equal opportunities for all and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches that you have created for us in this world. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you made the universe with all its marvelous order, its atoms, worlds, galaxies, the infinite complexity of living creatures. Grant that as we probe the mysteries of your creation, we may come to know you more truly and more surely fulfill our role in your eternal purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. As always, great to be with you. Be well, be faithful, be helpful, and I'll see you next time.